Hello, welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to calculate the volume and the surface area of an open semicylinder. So let's get started. So firstly, we have a semicylinder and we all remember the formula to calculate the volume of a cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder itself, volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height base area times height so for example this is our cylinder here so this um, pi r square represent the area of the circle and the height so base area times the height so but for this case we have a semi cylinder so we are going to divide it to it's just half of a cylinder so it means we are going to divide it by two so before we we continue or before we proceed we should remember that pi is equals to 22 over 7 so our formula for volume here which is pi r squared times height for a cylinder for a semi cylinder we need to divide this by two so this implies the volume will be equals to pi is 22 over 7 times the radius. This is the diameter. The radius represents half of it. So it means r is 7. So times r squared. r squared is going to be 7 times 7 times the height, which is 20 all divided by 2 so we can further simplify this we can see that we can divide 7 divided by 7 right so we can simplify this 7 and the 7 will cancel out we'll be left with we'll be left with um, 22 times 7 times 20 we can as well divide this 2 divided by 22 that will give us 11 so if we proceed we are going to be left with 11 we're going to be left with 11 times 7 times 2 is 14 with the 0 140 so if we multiply 11 times 140 will give us 1540 with unit centimeter cube so that's it let's calculate the surface area next so generally the surface area involve the area of all the surface so like the total area so we need to calculate the area of these plus the area of this. Now when we look here, no material was used at the top. The top is open. So there's no we are not going to calculate the surface area of this because it is open. So if we calculate if we look at this, this is half a circle plus another half a circle will give us a full circle. So what is the formula of area of a circle? So surface area, let's start with the area of a circle because half plus half is one so we have one full circle let us not forget r segment seven and pi is 22 over seven so the surface area half circle plus half circle will give us a full circle and what is the formula of area of a full circle is pi r square so we know the area of this already plus now here we have what we call the circumference of a half of a circle. So the circumference of half of a circle, right, times the height that will give us the area of this curved surface. So we need to get the circumference of the circle and the curved surface. So if we do that, the formula of circumference of a circle is pi r times this distance gonna talk about it already times this distance which is h times h 
So this is the formula we are going to use. And this formula can be further simplified. For example, if you're working without a calculator, it's preferable to factorize this formula. So pi r squared is the same as pi r r plus pi r h. What is similar? What is common? We have pi r. So we can factorize pi r bracket. We'll be left with r plus h surface area. So this implies our surface area. So we have pi is 22 over 7 times r. r is 7 bracket 7 and the height is 14. So if we simplify this 7 and 7 will cancel out surface area will be left here with 22 times if we add this together we are going to have 21 so 22 times no, sorry that's not the height our height is 20 The height here is 20. This is the height. So plus 20. So if we add this together, we'll be left with 27. So surface area. 22 times 27 will give us 594 centimeter square. So again, the height of this cylinder is 14. That's the height. So thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.